Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's go racing on the rapids at the raft shop! And, yeah, so it costs 100 to get in there. And there's two ways you can go through the rapids now. There's the raid, which is basically like it was in the Game Boy version to get some items and money along the way. Or, there's the new racing to get to the end as quickly as you can. So, let's start with the racing there. And we might as well destroy all of this guy's pottery while we're here. Kind of reminded of Dragon Quest. And they also got a new song for the racing here. So, I'll be a little quiet so you guys can hear the new music. Yeah, I like the new music they got here. It's very fitting for this game. It's really catchy, too. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get that heart piece right now. If only there were an item that could help us get that, but sadly, I don't have one. I could use the rocks feather to jump around a little bit, but that doesn't do much good in the race itself. Oh, thanks. Thanks, game. That's very helpful. Now, the way I'm going through the race here is to get through everything as slowly as possible. So I want to collect some items along the way if I can. I don't think I can make it up to that little island yet. Let me see. Well, definitely not now. Oh, well, that'll be fine. But in any case, yeah, just keep going around until we get to the waterfall at the end. Boom, we're good to go. Not really much of a race if it's by myself, but okay. Well, it better be a new record. I haven't done anything yet. Oh, yeah, so I did. Now, unlike the Game Boy version, though, you could just go right, go again, right from the beginning there. Instead of having to climb your way all the way up there like I did to get to the place, well, in the first place. So let's do another race. This time, I need to beat my previous time in order to get the reward that I want. So unfortunately, just getting your record the first time doesn't do anything for what I want to do. So yeah, pick up a little speed here with your raft. Okay, can I make it? Haha! -ha! Yeah, a little shortcut, though that can be a little tricky to get through there, but yeah, we should be able to get through to the end reasonably quickly. Let's see, I'm not going to bother trying to get up to that little island there. If it is possible for me to do right now, I don't have the skill level to do it. Oh well. But at least we got a little money out of the deal. And, oh right, beat my old time. Oh, a little bit, I guess. But in any case, yeah, for beating your old time, you get heart piece number 23. Very nice. No, I think we're good. That was, well, about as expensive as it was back at the shop in Mabe Village for a heart piece. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business here. And last time, we got up to 40 secret seashells. So I finally want to get my reward for getting all of those. So let's head on back to Seashell Mansion for the real reward we get out of this. Oh, I'm not fighting you or anything. But this will not be the last reward we get out of the mansion. Oh, okay, who's talking to me? Maybe the windfish? Or Mr. Owl? Or Marin? Or whoever? I don't know. Whoa! So for collecting 40 se secret seashells, we get the Colden Sword. I like how they name it in this version of the game. And it's just as good as it was in previous versions of the game. So whenever you have full hearts, 
Haha! -ha! You shoot an energy wave right at the enemies. I love that. It sounds like it really hurts, too. But, uh, alright. So, we got that going now. And now I'm pretty overpowered. So, I want to head back to the color dungeon to switch my male colors around. For some reason, I keep thinking that Link's clothes are like a tunic or something, but... Well, in this game, version of the game, they call it male, at least. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's, uh... Whoa! Watch out for those guys! Haha! -ha! Kind of reminds me of the scroll weapons in the first Ninja Turtle game on the NES. It's about as overpowered, too. So yeah, since I've already cleared the color dungeon, all you gotta do is just use the warp point right at the beginning to skip to the end and get to the great fairy. Or maybe just an ordinary fairy, I don't know. Fairy queen, okay, that works. So unlike the previous versions of the game though, you could go back to the green tunic if you really wanted, but I think we'll go with the blue male here. Help me keep my hearts close to maximum. Yeah, you do have to have full health in order to use those sword beams like every other Zelda game with them, I think. But, uh, yeah, so that'll cut our damage in half a little bit there. Okay, so that's everything we can do around here. Let's head on over to Martha's Bay. Or as reasonably close as we could get. Well, I suppose I could go over there, but no, I actually want to go over here. I need to be on this side to get an item that I want anyway. So I think someone was telling us to go to the bay or something or other's going on. So yeah, we'll go do that. Just do a little bit of lawn mowing while we're at it. Oh, I thought that would have had an enemy in there. Okay, so with that guy... Hold on. Ha-ha! There we go. Now we can take him while they're in the air. Well, you're not tricking me this time, Guardian Acorn. Careful. Well, you know what? Let's see if Orira has anything useful to tell us. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Take a look while we're at it. Why not? Okay, so let's see where we are exactly. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got the rapids going over there. Let's see. Okay, so to get in there, I'm going to go on, or down over here first. I'm just thinking if I can... Uh, I want to get some dialogue before doing all that. Oh, wow, it took multiple hits to kill that guy. Whoop. Uh, that works. But uh, I need to get into the water eventually. Yeah, you can't just spam sword beams. You got, it takes a little, you got like a little cooldown period or something. Whoa. Yeah, I don't want to touch that guy. These guys kind of blend in the everything around here. Okay, so over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Were you at the River Rapids, eh? Hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? So, yeah, we gotta, well, find a necklace for her. So, let's go. Now, let's go around to the south. I meant to do that. Oh, where did you come from? Weird. I love killing enemies with sword beams. Been doing it for over 30 years. Okay, fine, you get to live. Uh, hmm. Haha. -ha. Like that. Okay, now we're good. Well, let's see. We can't get over to the left there. Got a little statue there. But let's see what we got around here. 
Spoiler alert, we're gonna dig up something around here. Hmm. What does that even mean? I don't know. Well, let's see what we got over here. Whoa. We got another secret seashell. 41. Let me see, are we doing good on heart pieces too? Yeah, okay. So let's see, just like Oluiro was saying, go down here, go under the bridge, and we can find a fisherman there. Maybe he's better than I am. Wouldn't really be saying much though. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we got that from the, yeah, Yahoo. Oh, sure, why not? Well, how fast could you catch something useful? How big could it possibly be? Hey, all right. Oh, necklace. First I thought it was a bra, but uh, no, not in our versions of the game. Not in any of our versions of the game. Not in English, anyway. Well, in any case, yeah, we got that going there. Well, you know what? I, c I could talk to the guy after getting that. Oh, okay. I thought he might have something more profound to say, but, uh, no, no. Oh, in any case, yeah, let's take a look around the bay. Whoa. Wow, there's a lot of these guys. I do not remember there being this many of them. Holy cow. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go, uh, bring the necklace back to her. So, are you going to get it, or am I doing it? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. But yes, now we got a mermaid scale, but I don't know what I can do with that. But I'll see what we can do. Are you... No, I guess she's not going to stick around. Okay, never mind then. Let's just swim around here. If we go to the southern part of the bay yeah we got another heart piece number 24 not in the original version of the game okay so let's see oh you know what we got what was it we got another phone booth over there let's see since we've dealt with the fisherman now i'd imagine orira would have something new to say so what do we got How's it going? Oh, something like that. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should head on over there then. Out of my way. There you go. I was trying to hit that guy diagonally. Come on. I <clears throat> Ow! Can't avoid them all! Okay, never mind then. Well, let's just keep on going. And then, yeah, when you get over here, just dive like he was saying. See, I don't think there's any enemies around here, at least. Even though, yeah, I mean, I would imagine a lot of them could breathe underwater, but apparently not in that place. But all right, so at the middle of the bay, we've got another dungeon. The Catfish's Maw. Can we find the treasure inside? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.